welcome to just vibing vibes welcome let's talk about love islands in that episode i'm gonna start with the whole sean thing like sean is pissing me off like i reckon uh josh is going to blow me me off for grace i know grace is your type it is fine that does not mean she's Josh's type because Josh said that I understand somehow why he said it because he also said that he, he wants to be careful that Mimi is done with the whole Ayo thing. He doesn't want to show about he puts his mind there and it's 100% and then maybe Ayo comes back and she goes back to him. She did have that conversation with Kiran and Nico. So now I understand why he's like, uh -uh, I'm going to let her know that all my eggs are not in one basket because he doesn't want her to be too comfortable so that she doesn't maybe let her know. Maybe it will help. I understand why he did what he did and honestly but he shouldn't have said that in the speech obviously he was embarrassed <laughs> during the speech he felt uncomfortable she couldn't even hug and kiss him when he chose her because that was just an uncomfortable speech but i hindsight in hindsight i liked it and i said that in my uh, yesterday's review i did say that it's better that way at least people are not going to be like oh he just went straight for her oh he's a game player they might still do that in a few days but at least now they're not going to do that i don't think he's going nowhere i feel like he's all in for mimi anyway um when he had that chat to mimi where he was asking her if she's if she has you know her head in other situations and she telling that it's him that whatever i feel like that's the time for her to reassure him she could have just been like no i'm wondering but that that whole situation is done and dusted but i don't know if she not telling him that is a good thing maybe so that way him too he has his own you know what i mean he knows that mm -mm, you cannot just do whatever but i think you'd have better at that moment based on my opinion for her to have just reassured him and tell him the truth I hope it's the truth, the truth that I want it to be. Now, I am pulling me for a child to apologize. Like, I saw someone on Twitter saying that the producers, now it's not the producers. If the producers wanted him to apologize, they would have forced them to have a conversation after moving night. So it's Ayo having that conversation with her. But he's like, oh, he wants to say he's feeling away. Mimi was just laughing through it all. When she was laughing, it was annoying me. I'm like, Mimi, why are you laughing with the ups? Like, because I don't even trust this girl. I can't lie. I'm like, Mimi, what is happening? Why are you laughing with the ups? But then after the whole chat, so I know now for a fact that she's not, like, you know I mean? She's not feeling him. Then I, he's not talking to, um, to Joey. And Joey is asking me if he still has the same feeling. He said yes. But he wants to have his cake and eat it too. He wants Mimi there and he still wants Jess. So it's kind of like, <laughs> polygamist, I see you. I'm sure your forefathers were polygamous, so now you want to do that. That's fine. You can marry your 100 wives or have your 800 girlfriends. Good for you, Mr. Solomon. But at this point, that is not for Mimi. We don't even want to be Mimi anyway, and polygamy is not for Mimi. If, and, and I'm sure Jessef will not even be up for polygamy, so I don't know what that whole thing was all about. Like, honestly, like, just did it. Yeah, so Josh and Mimi were good. They were kissing in the night. I am happy for them. He looks handsomer by the day and Ayo looks uglier by the day. Yes, handsomer is not a word, but it is what it is. Honestly, when uh, Mimi and Ayo were talking and then Josh just went straight to where uh, Josh was and what and started chat with him, I'm like, girl, there are other girls around there. You could have gone to chat with. Why are you going to Josh? Why are you going to where Josh is? Like, uh-uh. I'm like, girl, please. Oh yeah, in the beginning, Mimi and Nico was talking about Uma leaving. Obviously, they love the girl and all of that stuff. Mimi was starting to cry again, and then um, Ruben was saying that he wanted to pick her. I know, like for their for she and his relationship, maybe to be the one thing. I'm like Ruben, I think you think you've done something wrong. So now you're trying to make it seem like the reason why you were going to choose Uma was so that their relationship will be stronger like you're choosing someone in a show that you're supposed to be looking for love so that that person and someone else's relationship will work then well, where would that leave you that's the most stupid thing i've ever heard you did nothing wrong at all like nothing wrong but now you trying to just twist it around guy what is that like i didn't get that part at all at all at all then um jess and hugo have the chat um and hugo just backtracked she asked him how he feels and he's like oh i'm happy just that you're not that flirty guy you said you were not feeling it you got just said that you're not feeling it now you both of you will go home now she's gonna see that if you had thought that you're not feeling it, it would have been better than hannah saying that on national tv that you were not feeling it and then you you'd not even have the boss to tell her like oh you're not being flirty that was not the reason that was not the reason you were giving you were not just feeling it so you could have said that 
but it is what it is. Grace was uh, chatting with the girls and then uh, with Emma and Jesse, and they think that she has a chance. All oh, the statements he made, such a bold statement. And uh, Jesse's like, oh, I'm not, I'm not saying who I want to, who I want to uh, to win. I don't know, like, is it win or to whatever. I think it's win, she said, but I don't know what competition she's they're doing that. She said, I don't know who I want to win. And I'm looking, I'm like, mm, that is not happening. I understand that he said that and good for you. It's good for you to feel that way. And she's like, oh, he brings out the flirty side in me. Oh, I thought maybe I've lost my flirty side and all that stuff. Obviously, I can tell you Grace is feeling just bad, but they don't go together bad. Him and Mimi goes together. Okay, but she's feeling him. When she had that child with Ruben and Ruben, like, oh, I prefer the child than just to maybe to go to the other way and have a kiss and blah, blah, blah guys she was not feeling you i can't lie as i have like uh -uh, she's not feeling ruben at all at all i don't even know who ruben is gonna be with now i feel like he's going to have to be with grace because that's the only single one i think oh connor is also single now again yeah i don't know how this thing is gonna work connor is single again so i don't know maybe she's gonna go back to connor <laughs> backtrack i don't think she wants connor either so i feel like she's gonna go to ruben connor will just be the single one and yeah, I think that's what's going to happen. So maybe they will recouple again and whoever of the guy is single, the girls will really want to choose and whichever guy is single will go home. That's what I'm thinking. That's how they will send Connor home first before they will do any other thing. The kissing competition came and immediately was shitting his pants. Like immediately they kiss. He's like, Nicole, I have to kiss. And Nicole is like, I'm going to, Nicole is like, no, you're not going to get into trouble. God, I know you want to even shout his head off, but apparently you cannot because you're going to also kiss other people. And my guy is just, he was so very, very cautious. He was really worried the whole, uh, this, the, the whole challenge. And then you go have the girls to be like, oh, this is your opportunity, last opportunity to kiss other guests. He's like, I don't want to all in caps. Like he shouted it out. Like I saw it written in caps. I'm like, guy, you want to put him in trouble? Because you know how these boys, they cheaty chat. Before you know that one of the guys is going to go tell the girl, then the girl will not tell the girl. Before you know it goes to Nicole, and then Nicole will not, I beg, I, 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 I'm happy. I like peace. I want peace. I don't want problems. Because I am happy that Nicole has not, eaten kira's head off for at least the past two episodes so let's it be like that please thank you don't mention okay so the challenge came on i would say all oh, the girls they did okay jess i know that she was one of the top or the top three she was kind of like literally eating the way she kissed is kind of like she's the one that does that wide mouth thing because i i noticed that when she was kissing josh i think josh was the first one so that's the one they showed a lot i noticed that when she was kissing josh like that her wide mouth it was just kind of like girl please stop that and then um matilda won the best kisser i feel like sean was giving all the girls very very low score like all three was given as low as possible so he was part of the reason why some of the girls even did very very poorly and i feel like visually mimi's kiss was the best and obviously our number one fan for mimi jess was like mimi's kisses looks good yes they look good and ruben confirmed that mimi's kiss is the best said, just sorry but mimi's kiss is the best but I don't know if, you know, these guys, they can tell maybe who is kissing. They, they can tell from the lips and all of that stuff. So I, I feel like maybe some of them knew that it could be Mimi or something like that because the lips is natural. Is it Because when you kiss lip that is artificial, that is not artificial. <laughs> when you kiss lip that has injections, I feel like it should, it would be like, it will not just be soft. I feel like it's going to be like you feel the injection in it. I don't know. <laughs> Oh no, I'm not kissed the lip that has infection has infection. <laughs> I'm not kissed the lip that has injections or fillers in it, so I don't know. But yeah, I think it's gonna like it's not gonna be soft, it's just gonna have like you know what I mean. So they know that uh this lip is voluptuous and this so it has to be a black girl, it has to be Mimi. I think they know that's why maybe some of them that's why I think because her kiss looked better. I feel like visually she was the best kisser, but the guys ranked and I like Matilda. So I kind of like Matilda and me, I kind of have like a love, not hate, dislike relationship with Matilda. Because sometimes she makes some kind of statement. But then I think because she's bubbly and she's kind of like a girl's girl sometimes. And you're like, ah, you can't help but like her. But then sometimes she's annoying. Now I feel like that villa now, the um, public vote. Honestly, I regretted not voting for Blade for the boys. Because he was the one that when the guys were trying to act like Mimi, he's doing something wrong for going to the hideaway. He was the one that stood up for her. Honestly, I was going to vote for Blade, but I forgot. Because when I checked all the boys, there's nobody I wanted to vote for than Kiran. So Mimi and Kiran were my only options. Like, honestly, I was really... It was the easiest vote I ever did. 
mimi and kira mimi and kira mimi and kira and that's what i did so it was my easiest vote but um maybe blade would have because kira i knew kira was going to be safe anyway so maybe blade could have had a few more votes um i don't know i feel like um the way the vote happened is good let Ayo and Jess still be there let's see how things go i feel like that's better than before people now say oh it's because Ayo was dumped no let Ayo be there and see Mimi flourish uh, you know what i mean god will set the table in the presence of your enemies so yeah I want Ayo to be there to see Mimi and Josh flourish. But I think after this, um, maybe the recoupling uh, corner is dumped. The next um, the next voting, Ayo needs to go and Sean needs to kind of be in the bottom so for him to know. And maybe um, I feel like um, Ayo and Jess, Jesse and Joey, and then uh, Sean and Matilda can be in the bottom somehow. Shona Matilda should be safe, I think, because I still want Matilda to be there. And then uh, Aya and Jess can go and Jess, uh, the Joey and Jesse can also go, honestly. So that's that for tonight's episode. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow night. Bye-bye!